Hello and welcome to the highlights of the second one day international in this Hutch Cup between India and Pakistan and these highlights coming to you from the Rawal Pindi Stadium. Well, India need to bounce back and reverse the trend because the last couple of weeks in Pakistan haven't been great and this one day international provides them with that opportunity. Let's have a look at the surface on which this match will be played. Well, it has a typical Pakistani look to it, not too much of grass, but it's on the drier side, which means the spinners might just come into play a bit more. And in the last five matches, uh, batting first, just about 200 runs have been scored. So it is not one of those high-scoring venues, Rahul Pindi. So the bowlers will have something to say in the matter, at least in this match. Toss is going to be crucial. The team winning the toss would want to bat first on this one. And it was in Zamamul Haq who once again won the toss and had no hesitation in electing to bat first. Pakistan named an unchanged team. As far as India is concerned, they made a couple of changes. They've got Suresh Raina in the 11. Murli Kartik has been left out. And they've got Ramesh Pawar, the all-rounder of spinner, who is the super sub for this match, flown in as replacement for Harbhajan Singh, who is still nursing that injured finger. Well, the action about to begin. Let's join our commentators, Wakar Yunus and Michael Holding. Here's Arpan Patan. Swing, definitely swing there and almost a return catch. Look at that seam, very upright seam. Early signs of some swing, Makar in a piece in this pitch. Good morning, Mikey. Good morning, all around the world. Yes, uh, I have a feeling that uh, th this wicket is a little damp. There'll be some thing for the fast bowler, which we have seen uh, in the very on the very first ball from Irfan Patan. Big sound, and that's it. First wicket to India. What a start! An excellent start for the Indians here at the Rawal Pindi Stadium. Seam up right once again. Little rash Salman, but outside the off stump, swung away from him. And a thick outside edge. No problem there for the umpire to give him out. And Salman, but goes straight away in the first over for zero. Pakistan lost the first wicket without scoring. That's a good shot. He drives well, Kamran Atmal. Well, I was wrong. Right on top of that delivery. Definite swing there. Finds the gap now, he'll get runs. Didn't middle it properly, but didn't have to. The ball still whistled away for a four. Again, a bit of swing. The end swing for Irfan Fatan into right-handed Kamran Akhmal. But it's the chance. change of pace that did the trick. 115 k's per hour into the shot, a little too early. Bottom edge just carrying into the stumps, and he's delighted. He's doing the job today, Irfan Fatan. His second wicket. He picks up wickets with the new ball, and Kamran Akhmal departs for 14. It's 43 for two. Excellent feeling. Even though uh, they'll pick up. Oh, gone. Gone. Yeah. Yes, they've got the big one. Never run off a misfield, they say. And Mohammad Yusuf was going nowhere with that calling. His partner was not interested in. I have to say, when Mohammad Yusuf is there, a run out is round the corner. Well, he had to avoid the bowler twice. Now he's played it nicely. Tendulkar bit of misfield. Took his time to realize where the ball was. Gets there, but look at Mohamed Yusuf. Goes, then he comes around. He has to go around the bowler. And he's messed it up. Sachin Tendulkar doing the retrieving act. 
and kept his cool, did not panic, threw it to the right end. It was a good throw. And Mohamed Yusuf, he's gone for one. Run out, Pakistan, 46 for three. Edge, that's gone very quickly for a four. Pakistan, three down for 61. In the air, make it and go. What a wicket. We asked for a wicket for India. They wanted one straight away, and Inzma can't believe his luck. Big wicket to, pack, uh, to India. I don't know what he was referring to, Inzma. Possibly disappointment. But this is a real big one. Inzamam gave the ball short and not coming on as quick as he imagined. Wanted to whip it away, getting the leading edge and an easy take for the man, Srishant. He was waiting under it. Zahir Khan has provided a huge, huge breakthrough. Pakistan, 68 for four, and Inzamam gone for eight. Magnificent. Nothing short of magnificent. Runs found the gap on the onside. That will bring up his 50. That will bring up another boundary. Eighteenth half century for Shoaib Malik. And eight against India. Close. Close to chopping it back onto his thumbs, but he may get four runs. He does. That's four. Too much width. Also brings up the 50 partnership. I was just going to finish it off with this medium paces. Probably he might cut out all the loose deliveries, but here. Delivery which provides a lot of width. Down the track, didn't middle it, but didn't have to. Still uh, gets a four. He's found the gap. This is where Shweb Malik is so good. Every now and then he produces that, that hit that damages India. be a boundary Sachin Tendulkar a little shorter this time and I don't know for how long can this strategy continue for India because they've come under heavy fire in the last five odd overs or so that's gone fine and uh, yet another four that's a very poor cricket by the Indians here no planning not at all I don't see any planning uh, behind uh, these two bowlers. Rahul Jai would probably be thinking that, uh, okay, I've got the four early wickets and my main bowlers are going to bowl the Pakistanis out. But he never thought that uh, he's got to bowl the fifth bowler in. And it's just a little too late coming to the 33rd over. And no planning where to bowl, where the field has got to be. There you go, once again onto the pads. Another easy single for the Pakistanis. 33 overs got, 168 for four. There's a fielder there who comes in aggressively, picks up the ball, throws it in. Chance of I think ran himself out. There was never a two there, and there was hesitation in the middle also. I just mentioned that Sri Shant attacked the ball, and he was aggressive in his intentions. And in the end, good results for India. Why do you need to run the second one? Beautiful throw right on top of the stumps, and he was not in the picture even. Simon Toffel don't need the third umpire. Once again, gone into the 90s. Big blow for Pakistan. Can India come back now? Gone for 95, 170 for five. Patan 
comes back for yet another spell. A slow one picked up by Yunus Khan, they'll run hard. And he'll come back for the second. So Pakistan, 172 for five, uh, Yunus Khan raises his blade, he's got uh, his first 50 against India. A responsible innings, 50 from 62 balls, A very good knock. got them worried so much where the mid off the mid on have gone out on the boundary and they brought the fine leg up and of course he just flicks it around the corner beautifully going going go on well I'm glad you got that in <laughs> but that is a big hit now, although there's a long on and long off in place, he's still taken on the field. Shaya Afridi really backs himself. What do you reckon? In the air, he might be out here. He's getting under it and taking it. India strike, big wicket to Arfan. He's got his third wicket here, Patan. And India strike back. Quite needless, but that's the way Afridi goes, and Rahul Dravid knew that Afridi is going to go for it, even though there's a long off longer in place. But it didn't need a long off longer. This went very high in the air, enough time for many fielders to get under it, but it was Mohammed Kef charged it to perfection. Never looked like dropping it. So Afridi gone, Ifan has three. Gone for 18, Pakistan 204 for six. I hear Khan down at third man. Not a very good job. That's four. I don't think he realized that the ball went into the boundaries, I hear Khan, but it did. This will be close if he hits. And he has hit, he's gone. It's all over. I think he may ask for the television replay, but that's all over. Don't need that. I don't see Abdul Razak reaching the, to the crease. This is nicely done. You don't really need the third umpire there. Umpire in a good position, but making sure. Good. If you've got a technology, why not use it? Good thinking there, but he is clearly short of his crease. Even uh, Abdul Razak knows he's walking, and you can see the red light. So Abdul Razak gone, big blow there for the Pakistanis. 234 for seven. Abdul Razak gone for 14. Caught. That might not be the same now, though. Not really sure if that was a slow delivery, but a bit early there. Yunus Khan onto that shot. Bit early and scooped it straight to Mohammed Kaf there in the cover. Big wicket here. I know it's only four overs to go, but this is a big wicket. That, part, that will take Pakistan into the tail end. Yunus Khan, great inning of 81, came to an end. 242 for eight. Well, that's gone a long way up, but not far enough. Reyna, he doesn't drop them. <laughs> Little over ambitious, but Vidal, Vidal on the boundary looking to go over them. Big heave, but didn't really get uh, right from the middle of the bat, but uh, easy catch there. He's not going to drop it, he knew it. Easy catch there. What a field of this guy is right now. They're involved in another wicket here. Rana Naveed goes for six. Pakistan 257 for nine. Mm. 
edged on the four. Omar Gould has been doing well, whether he has meant it or not. Runs are important, doesn't really matter how they come. Omar Gould looking to drive that one and got a big outside edge, thick outside edge. No chance for any fielder to stop that. Looking to swing the ball away from uh, Omar Gould. It's definitely a bit of a reverse there, but he'll be better off if he can bring it back into the right-hander. The new batsman is Mohamed Asif. This is over number 49, so another nine deliveries to go. Just a single. Dot ball. Not what Pakistan need at this stage. Pretty good score at the moment though. Still managed to get 264 on the board already, Pakistan. And Zaman must have been uh, a happy man after seeing 264, still five deliveries to go. Because at one stage, Pakistan looked uh, in a deep hole. They were four down for only 90 odd. Could have been uh, easily 160, 170 all out. Good delivery. Well dug, but a good delivery. Oh, another one is there. Another run out there. Well, Simon Toffel decided to go for the third umpire looks pretty close well you should never get two runs to the man at point boundary here and I think he hasn't gotten those second run these boundaries are not that big for you to be thinking about running two runs to the man on the point boundary it went straight to say what we know say well is not the quickest but he was quick enough for Mohammed Asif He's shocked. He doesn't believe it. But Pakistan have fallen four deliveries short. They didn't manage to bat the entire 50 overs, Pakistan. And this, well, who knows? It may be costly. It's going straight to him. He hasn't got to run to his left or right. He's running straight in. Shortest distance is a straight line. Straight to the ball. Good throw. All over. Well, throwing's been excellent. Mohamed Asif goes for two. Pakistan 265, all out. Well, here we are, 265 all out inside the first uh, 50 overs of uh, Pakistan. And India should be pleased with that performance. Although, after being 68 for four, they'd be saying that we perhaps allowed them to score maybe 25, 30 runs, a bit too many. Yunus Khan once again playing that critical innings, 81 of 98, Shoaib Malik 95 of 110, the second time he's been out in the 90s in this series. But let's have a look at the bowling figures, 3 for 43 of 10 overs and one maiden for Patan and those three wickets included Salman Bhatt, Kamran Akmal and Shahid Afridi. So Patan taking the important wickets there in that Indian inning. Sri Shant I thought was impressive although he was wicketless. Zahir Khan and Agarkar, well, they've carried on uh, bowling manfully and decent returns for a change for them as they bowled when India was on top and India could call the shots in that innings. Some part-time bowling from Tendulkar Sehwag was perhaps the only disappointing and the weak link in that Indian bowling performance. Wrong line and being punished. Good timing, Mohamed Asif dives and well, doesn't do well. Uh, himself justice there tumbling effort could have done a lot better than that normally gets off the mark square of the wicket on the offside we're in the sevag and for a change square of the wicket but on the leg side just getting a full dive getting a hand to it but just going to the boundary fast outfields here in pakistan and hard runs as well 
plenty of time to play it through mid wicket now that really is a very good shot fast outfield will challenge Arshad Khan and uh, well he'll not win that race not much a bowler can do on a pitch like this just marginally short of a length Sachin using the depth of the crease to good effect staying right on top of that depended on timing didn't want to hit it very hard and that's good thinking these are fast outfields you get the gap you get the boundary shot one been dealt with severely that really is a special shot from Brenda Sevak because it has landed beyond the boundary rope great eyes but what hands does he have magnificent he's done a shoulder in again not the greatest piece of bowling in his half right near the stone now with Rana giving the elevation and also too much time for Brenda Sevak in fact he has enough time to hit it out of the park find the gap easily done by Virinda Seva lovely shot he's so strong in his legs well, he's so strong everywhere and there's the 50 partnership a touch fuller by Mohammed Asif but this man is in good nick Sachin Tendulkar we've been talking about Sivag but uh, what about Sachin Tendulkar a little bit on his legs and look at that classic well that was one of his worst shots and it'll probably be his worst four as well and that might be his 50 and it is well played very good 50 indeed and what a start he's given this Indian team some of the top shots we have seen in his 50 and uh, it's been all treat, all treat to the crowd here. Some beautiful shot, some tremendous hits over cover point, through the cover. Beautiful. Well deserves 50, Brenda Sevak. Yeah, as you can see, he's pretty strong on the leg side as well. Normally, in that big square cuff for 60 hit there, an up and under over there. Very good shot indeed. But strong both sides of the pitch today. And over the top again. Sachin's Such Such showing the show. Oh, good effort though. Good intent, but still forward nevertheless. End of the over. 79 for no loss. Edge Dunkard. Abdul Raza gets the most important wicket of all, the first. Well, that's one goal starting your spell Abdul Razak netting Sachin Tendulkar what a big breakthrough just what the doctor ordered for Pakistan trying to sort of find that third man fielder for one just to find that edge opened the face of the back too much paid the penalty Tendulkar gone for a well-made 42 it's 105 for one and it's drinks Oh, missed. I think it fell just short of Kamran Atmal. Well fielded. And well run. Oh, that was close. I don't think that was well run. That is the end of Verenda Sewa. Well, well, well. Could this be the turnaround of this game? Run number three, Seva coming in and take a look at that direct hit from the boundary. The keeper also not in vision. That's odd. The keeper should have been there. But Seva, the man gone. Big, big wicket for Pakistan. What a throw. Verinder Seva totally in control for his 67, but he's gone. It's 123 for two. He played is a powerful player through the leg side now. That really is one brilliant shot. Well, that is poor stuff. Fine leg is up in the ring. And Raul Dravid is uh, really clever 
when it comes to finding the gaps and reading the situation of the game. That's much better from Yul Singh. Now, there's a man in the deep, but he missed it by a mile. Really stroked it off the middle of his bat. Magnificent again, the gap. That's class. Just class. That's amazing. Magnificent. Just drop kicked it over mid on. I have no, no, no doubt he picked it out with the mid on up. Trying to enforce a false shot while well, all he got was a real good shot. Inzi, fantastic shot to you, Braj. Glorious shot. Good to watch even. Although mid on up. He had a bit of uh, room there for him. Beautiful. Right on top of against the spin. And again, what a shot. He is so good with that long bat he uses, that extra long blade that he's got in his hand. He's free flow of it, and when he hits it in the middle, it goes. That ball was really traveling after he hit the bat of your right sing. Four. Oh, that's just rubbish down there. Don't bowl there to any player for, for that matter, let alone a guy who averages 50 as a test player. Well, I can't believe the crowd has gone so quiet. There's his 50. Very easy seeing Lot onto the offside, another, another half century for Rahul Dravid, the wall. 66th ODI 50. Wonderful, wonderful performance, and he's done it in quick time as well. 52 balls he required to get his 50, and did it very cleverly indeed. Played the ball late, played it into the ground. This is also, I'm told, the 10th 50 for Dravid against Pakistan. of it with a single nonetheless Dravid is feeling rather relaxed he's pretty good at this hook shot Rahul Dravid fancies himself rolls the wrist over plays it pretty competently Yuvraj too short of 50 hold of that that's his half century his 21st half century in one day internationals and it's a good one he's in good form got a hundred in the test match and then got a blistering innings in Peshawar looked good then and he's really found form here 21st ODI 50 fourth against Pakistan looking good there 52 not out of 61 deliveries and he did finally get hold of one short pitch delivery short again didn't get hold of that at all but he'll get a single this is one forgettable performance by Rana Naved into his seventh over is gone for 57 that is Yuvraj Singh's map of the way he scored his runs again mostly on side it also tells you a story a bit about the wicket it could be a little slow but generally they've fed him in his strong area they have bo haven't bowled too much outside the off stump to him looking for two Raul Rabbit definitely not on though in the end he decides just a single is enough There you are, that's confirmation. There's nothing square on the offside in front of the wicket. Unbelievable. Leg side runs almost 80%. That map needs to be studied both for Yuvraj and for Rahul Dravid. No doubt 
Pakistan think tank would be taking a close look at all this. Got it in the gap, but not powerful enough to get it to the boundary. That was a good throw. Excellent throw. Nine runs from the over, though. 232 for three. He's gone. No problem. All the way. Take that. Good use of the feet. Went straight over to the bowler's head. Caught. He got one. First over in the attack and showed Malik takes a wicket. Well, that ball took some time reaching Rahul Dravid. Stretched him, beat him in the flight. Dravid couldn't quite reach it, got it to play it on the onside. Just spooned it back to Shoaib Malik. He's got a wicket, maybe it's a little late in the day. 56 very eff effective runs for Dravid. It's 241 for three in there. Mohamed Kaif comes to the crease with India, needing just 25 runs to secure this victory and to level the series one all with three to go. Looking for two Mohammed Kaif. He's quick. He's coming back as well. Easy. Didn't even have to ground his bat. These two run well between the wickets. They're very quick, very athletic, and aggressive. They'll take a few risks when they're running between the wickets. And more often than not, if you don't hesitate, you normally make it. Two there, definitely two there. These two, as Arun Lal said, run very well together. Just trotted two. This is that wicket on Dartfish. Just wasn't to the pitch of the ball. Pushed at it, poked at it, and just managed to spoon it back to the bowler. Well balled, my legs. Raj Singh looking good. Even when he comes down the track, he isn't totally committed. On the previous occasion when he got a couple, his intention was to try and reach the ball. When he didn't, he refashioned his stroke. Big one again over mid on. Mid off is right back on the bone jack long off position, so I don't think he really wants to be attempting that shot. But mid on is safer. He's up. That's the direction. Over mid on, six. Two fifty two for three. Quicker, well, brilliantly taken by the keeper. Lost his balance, but didn't lose his uh, sense of humor. <laughs> Great take by Cameron Akmal. Fired and quicker. Good thinking by Shoaib Malik. Well done, Cameron Akmal. <laughs> Don't worry where you landed up. I thought it's great work by the bowler as well. That's gone in the gap for a four. Umar Gul with a meek dive, couldn't stop it. Again, the quicker delivery on a slow pitch helps the ball skid off the surface and come to the bat a lot better. Well, they certainly will be a, a very happy bunch. That's played away fine. 
Yuvraj Singh will come back for the second. Scores are level. That is it, in fact. So win for India and a big one. This will give them a lot of boost and confidence. They win by seven wickets. And uh, they really deserved it because they played spotless cricket today to outmaneuver Pakistan. With this win, they also level the series 1-1. So the interest is back in this one-day competition. It appeared as if Pakistan were the stronger of the two because they'd beaten them twice, but uh, India have turned it around. And so they win this handsomely in the end. Well, what a performance by the Indian Virinda Sehwag and Sachin Tendulkar laid the platform and drove it after those two hiccups when Sehwag and Tendulkar departed in quick succession made sure that the ship was steady and there was no more panic in the Indian run chase. Dravid, 56 of 61, and Yuvraj Singh, I can tell you, has been in brilliant touch in this uh, series. 82 of 89, and once again, he was the man who was holding that bat up in the air when India had won another one-day match. As far as the bowling figures of Pakistan is concerned, they are missing Shoy Bakhtar, plain and simple. Mohammad Asif expected to play a big part, wasn't quite his day, and Rana Naveed was far too expensive and there was no turn for Arshad Khan. So Pakistan have some thinking to do. The man of the match was Irfan Pathan from India for his three important wickets. So India have leveled the series, the Hutch Cup, it's one all. And we go to Lahore to break this tie at this stage in the Hutch series. Until next time, it's goodbye and thanks very much for watching.